very steep driveway. First, we start by cutting the concrete with our partner saw, and this takes a little while, so we're going to speed up the video a little bit and just give you the basics of cutting the concrete. You can also see we're trenching the discharge line at the same time. This is where the channel drain will exit and it will pick up the downspouts on that side of the garage and continue on to the back of the house. More cutting of the concrete and again this is speeded up dramatically. Uh, it takes about an hour and a half to cut across a two car garage uh, two times before we begin to remove the concrete. Okay, we're using a jackhammer to break and crack the concrete here in the driveway. This little apron that comes down here is solid concrete. A partner saw cuts about four inches, and if you look carefully, you will see that on the right hand side, it's about six inches deep. And you have to use a jackhammer to crack this stuff up. You can see how long it takes. I'm going to let this video run. You can see Eddie just pounding and pounding and pounding and eventually this concrete will crack but it does take some effort to do it even with the jackhammer now it's just cracking just starting to crack but because it's so thick we're going to have to crack that in half and get our pry bar to pop that out of there we have to continue this the remaining 22 23 feet back across the drive Now we're going to try to just pop that piece out, but again, it's not going to pop out of there. We're going to have to re-crack that again, and it's because the concrete is about six inches thick, and the partner saw did not cut all the way through it. So we have to continue to break this concrete up. This is probably the second hardest part of the job, and granted, power tools, jackhammers, they really help. You can see how it cracked that piece. And now I'm going to have Paul go ahead and pop this out of here. And he'll get these pieces out one by one. And, of course, we haul all this concrete away to the dump, uh, clean up the area, and then we'll go ahead and start setting our channel drain. See if you can get in there, Paul. Now you're looking at the discharge of the channel drain where it exits. I'm it up. Here we've got the bulk of the concrete removed. A little bit of rubble left. We'll clean that up. We've laid out our channel drain surrounded by gravel to give it a good base and next we're going to start pouring the concrete. Here we are with uh, a little bit of it done. Notice our grates are still upside down. Side. <clears throat> Eddie's putting some more concrete in, mixing it up, just putting it into the trench. And again, I'm letting this video run a little bit right here so you can just see how much concrete, how much work it really is. You can also see the, the pitch of this driveway, uh, the apron, which had a valley in it. And that made it for a very difficult cut and a little bit of extra finishing. I, I think the finishing takes the longest time to really set the channel drains in there and get it proper.
Okay, we'll speed this video up a thousand times, and you can see how fast we move here, but it really takes about two and a half hours to finish this out properly. Uh, right now I'm turning the grates over and putting them back in, a little bit of a finished touch. We'll continue this until this is all complete. Closer to the finish, um, you can see we've pretty much filled up our trough that we've created with concrete. Now we're just going to finish it out and pop these grates over, clean them off, and this channel drain will be complete. And next time it rains, water will come down this driveway, drop into the system, and be carried away. Here's our completed channel drain. You can see it's nice and clean, good, good solid concrete all around it, and it runs all the way across the front of the garage to our discharge point. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day.